Skeena Bulkley Valley MP Taylor Backrack held a press conference over Zoom yesterday to reflect on the past year. He began by acknowledging the challenges that COVID-19 has placed on the Northwest. He urged everyone to follow public health orders during the holidays and remarked on the resilience of Northwest communities throughout the pandemic. Uh, here in our region, it's taught us some things that we, we already knew about our ability in the North to come together during tough times. We saw this in 2018 in spades during that really devastating wildfire season. We saw neighbors come together. And with COVID-19, we have that opportunity again to show the strength of rural communities in looking after each other, in looking out for each other, and in taking care of each other. Although BC began its rollout of COVID-19 vaccines this week, Backrack said that the Pfizer vaccine will be hard to bring to rural areas because it needs to be kept at low temperatures. He hopes Northwest BC will get the Moderna vaccine instead. My hope is that uh, as the, that other vaccine uh, comes to the fore and is made available and the orders come in, that we'll be able to uh, see smaller, more remote communities, which really is the, the bulk of the population in Northwest BC we'll see those communities get access to it as quickly as possible. Backrack also discussed some of his local activities, such as pushing for more internet access on Haida Gwaii, resolving the border issues at Stewart, and asking airlines to give refunds during the pandemic. Additionally, he mentioned how he and the NDP caucus pushed the government to adopt stronger pandemic relief programs, such as the CERB. He critiqued the Liberals for asking some CERB recipients to return their payments after the program's eligibility requirements were changed it is incredibly unfair to change the goalposts retroactively and to make these people pay back the money, first of all, when they need the support, and secondly, when they applied not only in good faith, but they applied following the rules that were available at the time. When asked about the possibility of an election, Backrack said he thinks an election is the last thing Canadians want right now. But he'll be prepared if the Prime Minister calls one. For CFTK-TV News, I'm Joshua Azizi.